good afternoon and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I did not get up really that early. Like yesterday I was up at 8 o'clock but I didn't get out of bed until like 9 or something like that. Um, today I actually woke up at like 8.45 and then I got out of bed at like 9 or 9.30 or something like that. Um, which honestly guys, I don't know why. I think I'm finally like... I've been getting up at like 8 o'clock, but I've been staying in bed until like 9, 9.30. Um, like just on my phone or kind of like snuggling with the dog or whatever. But I never actually like fall back asleep. And so now I'm starting to like wake up at actually 9 o'clock. And I'm like, no, I need to try and actually get up at 8. Because I was up at 8 o'clock and woke up from my alarm clocks and fell back asleep for like almost another hour. Um, so yeah, that wasn't like the best. <laughs> but... I didn't it was actually it rained like last night or early this morning or something like that it was really like cloudy out when I first woke up this morning though and um so I was like well, well probably won't get to any like outside work and I wasn't planning on it today anyway because I knew it was supposed to rain so um it didn't rain though until like later in the afternoon like four o'clock or something like that or later because it had rained though earlier in the day or like early this morning or something like that uh, everything it was kind of pretty muddy out outside and then also too because um like everything was wet out there I was like I learned my lesson from doing it on Sunday or whatever I did or Saturday and was like you know what I probably don't want to go back out there because everything my shoes my clothes my legs I was completely covered in mud when I just weeded out the flower beds I was thinking trying to pull weeds out like in the backyard was probably going to be a huge even bigger mess um because the ground is not like very like I wasn't even I was like mainly on the sidewalks and stuff like that even still pulling this stuff out I got covered in mud and so I was like being back there behind our garage <laughs> where it is all dirt and everything like that anyway you know it's gonna wind up being just a huge mess so I wasn't planning on doing any outside work today anyway but I did get to my freezer dinners today which was awesome they actually ended up taking me like two hours today to do though um, which I ended up actually in total I bought two packs of chicken breasts and one pack of ground beef this week which was five pounds of ground beef and uh, eight pounds of chicken breast in total I ended up freezing two pounds of chicken breast for my mom so that she can make whatever she wants um, and use it for like dinners and stuff like that and then three pounds of ground beef for her as well and then so I froze that stuff for her and then I ended up making eight additional freezer dinners like complete freezer dinners that I normally make which I ended up doing two sloppy joes so I ended up having to brown the ground beef and everything like that and then add the sloppy joes put it in the freezer bag you know with the other stuff too I add extra onions and bell peppers to mine when I make it making two bags of Italian chicken which is literally just chicken breast with um, Italian dressing so what I ended up doing was just froze the chicken breast in freezer bags and then when I go to cook it I'll actually just throw the chicken in the um, slow cooker and then add the salad dressing over the top only because I probably could have froze it with it but I was using smaller freezer bags like not the gallon size but the quart size ones so I was like well you know what I'll just do that and that way too it doesn't change the consistency or anything like that of it and just leave it in the pantry until I'm ready to use it which salad dressing is good for like a while so I don't have to worry about that not going bad or anything like that anytime soon this is like a pantry stable you know product and everything like that but the chicken I need to make sure got frozen so I just froze that and wrote the directions on there for myself when I go to make it and then that'll be served with like tricolor rotini most likely um so I did two bags of those as well and that was uh two of the two pounds of the chicken breast in total um one pound between each I then made two bags of salsa chicken tacos which is just one pound of chicken breast and then a jar of salsa and then I I normally do a half a can of black beans per each bag so I use one full can and then also frozen corn too and split that up in half and do it between the two and then just again it all gets thrown in the slow cooker and it's like filling for like tacos or taco salad or for like just chips and you know that and stuff like that so everybody kind of eats it differently it just depends like my mom will have it with salad a lot of times my dad will eat it as like a taco or whatever and normally Matthew and Jack like to have it with chips kind of more as like almost like salsa chicken kind of anyway <laughs> so I did two bags of those I also ended up doing two bags of the jambalaya as well 
which was, I used a recipe for that one. The other ones were all kind of like recipes that I either had or have had memorized or have used in the past and stuff like that. And I did make two of these jambalayas before. I just didn't have the, the, the recipe memorized yet. And I only made them once before. Like with the salsa chicken tacos, I make those, I feel like every couple of weeks because it's a pretty much a crowd pleaser. Everybody will eat them. Um, and sometimes with the chicken salsa tacos, I will add like one packet of taco seasoning to it as well. Um, it just depends. This week I didn't because I didn't have any, but it's still fine. And it's very flavorful just with even the salsa in there. More of like a taco taste to it. You can always add like a packet of uh, either homemade or pre-store bought uh, taco seasoning. So um, like I said, I didn't use that this time. But last week I or not last week, the last time I made them, I ended up using homemade uh, taco seasoning. But I've also used the just the store bought stuff as well. And so I made, like I said, the, the two things of jambalaya as well and um, was actually able to take care of all of that though. But I did it. It took me a little bit while longer because I went in the kitchen at 1 o'clock. I also did a load of laundry and I ended up doing a load of dishes before I had started. So that probably took me like an extra 20 minutes probably between doing the two of them. And then I ended up um, taking care of the, the freezer dinners. And I also cut up the bell peppers that I had in the um, the fridge because I needed a little bit more room. Everything as far as freezer dinners got taken care of, I wanted to do like my um, produce prep and stuff like that and chop everything up ahead of time, but I really didn't get the chance to do that um, today because by that time it was like almost three o'clock already. I needed to eat something because I hadn't really had that much to eat yet at that point and um, I decided that was what I was gonna do and then I was like, well, if I do have some time maybe before dinner that I would do some of that, but I didn't and then for dinner I ended up actually making, I had a bag of like frozen spaghetti and meatballs um, with like pasta sauce already in there so I ended up actually making that for dinner tonight and I had to make the pasta separately and stuff like that so I did have some extra stuff that I had to do for dinner instead of it just being in the slow cooker and being done um, I had to make the pasta so that ended up taking me a little bit while longer and I did side dish too steamed broccoli is a side dish too so I had a couple things that I had to take care of for that anyway so I did get a lot of stuff done though for today. Like I said, I didn't get any outside yard work done or really anything else extra done for today. But um, those freezer dinners, I was like, honestly, it's either going to be like a two day thing or else I'm, in, I'm just going to like power through it and try and get it all done at one time. And I did. And it's also nice too because now that all of the, the chicken breast and the ground beef is out of the refrigerator and is all put away in different, you know, sections or whatever in the freezer, guys, it was just somebody closing the door. <laughs> Um, that now that those are all taken care of, there's tons of room in the refrigerator, which we were like running out of space in. Um, so now I can actually put up, like I have cantaloupe to cut up and I have got a couple other things to cut up too. And I know where to put them and cut them because there's no room in the refrigerator. So now that there is, um, I can take care of that, but that's why that had to come first before I could even do the produce prep or anything like that. But I got all of it done guys which is very nice um like I said I still have a little bit to do but it's supposed to be hot though the next couple days I think tomorrow is not supposed to be super hot but it's actually the weird thing is it's thunderstorm today normally when that happens it cools down but it was like cooler earlier in the week like yesterday and today it's then supposed to get warmer as the week goes on so like um tomorrow is supposed to be I think like high 70s or low 80s or something like that then it's supposed to be like high 80s then it's supposed to be like 90s on Friday so it's supposed to <laughs> consistently get warmer and so I don't know how much more work we're going to be able to get done outside my thought is that maybe if I do get up like 8 o'clock in the morning again I can get outside while I'm having my coffee and actually get to some uh you know some type of small portion of yard work tomorrow outside which would be really nice as well um, and is kind of my goal of what I would like to do because if I can get out there earlier before it starts to get really hot like in the middle of the day um, that would be nice which is when Matthew and Jack wake up so I don't think we're going to get much else done behind the garage at least probably not like this immediate weekend but possibly um, maybe like the beginning of next week or something like that but over half of that was got done in one day so I'm not too scared about it taking like forever to get done now. I do want to get to some of the flower beds though so I think that's what I'm going to do but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys aren't new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see you all very soon shiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.